Gentlemen, we have a very interesting call today. Uh, approximately at 4.30 p.m., uh, we had an individual that unfortunately lost control of his vehicle and uh, he fell down uh, the embankment. Well, in this area, as you can see, the very rocky terrain, we're actually on the Los Angeles uh, Highway, Los Angeles Crest Highway, which you know, for correct terms, it's Los Angeles Forest Highway here. And um, he uh, lost control and uh, right around the bridge, he fell down uh, about 300 feet. So we have uh, a full brigalia here. We have uh, LA County Fire. We have Urban Search and Rescue um, to uh, extract the individual. So they're in the process of doing that right now. Uh, originally they had called us to uh, secure the vehicle so um, luckily the, they were able to get the extradite the man uh, right now they're having trouble having uh, to uh, raise them the, the gentleman from uh, all the way down the bridge um, so I'm just uh, here standing by until they get him out to be able to uh, do my thing and extract the vehicle okay, I'm gonna be setting up my truck meanwhile they do that They're also going to open up the freeway because, uh, well, the highway, because apparently they've been waiting here for about uh, roughly uh, three hours. So let's uh, get to it. So we uh, still haven't got the guy up yet, but mm -hmm. once we do and get him in the helicopter, okay. when the pilot fires up, can you turn out all your lights? Yeah. Just because he puts his NVG on and mm -hmm. all the lights just wash out his vision. Okay. That'd be great. Thanks. I'll turn it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill my lights. That way he doesn't, uh, he says his night vision. His night vision goggles. That way, uh, you know, at the helicopter they were to see. We have everybody here. We have CHP, we have LA County Fire, Urban Search and Rescue. We have CH, uh, sheriffs actually. There's the ambulance here standing by, but like I said, he's uh, gonna get airlifted. So I'll be there to show you the uh, airlift this gentleman out. So I don't know if you see my setup. So on uh, on the left there, you have a snatch block, which is obviously to uh, to split the load between two lines when it comes into really heavy lifting. Um, but what that happens is that it cuts your cable length in half to whatever casualty you have. In this case, I'm going to need every little bit of a, of a cable that I have available, which is about 250. On that on that drum so by removing my snatch block and going single lining it um, I'll have the, the full length of my cable we'll, uh, we'll stand by until the helicopter arrives which I you heard the captain of the urban search and rescue to um, to uh, to stand by it's a matter of minutes so i will go over there and uh scope it out just uh be a spectator at this moment You gonna pull him up now? Yeah. I just got the setup to get it out more. Because essentially he was hitting the bottom of the bridge. Uh. Is that boom far enough out? Yeah. It's, it's kind of close. Which way are they gonna pull him out? This way? I have no idea what they're doing. But it looks like he's getting hoisted down, so he's gonna be something. Yeah. 
They're bringing them up. Oh yeah, they're bringing them up now. Probably take me maybe like an hour. An hour? Yeah, tops. An hour. The only thing that's gonna take the long is just having to rig it. Once that's done, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'll gauge it by once I set up my truck. I'll uh, I'll drop the. You'll see the overhaul ball. Okay. I'll drop all the way down, and I'm more than confident it's gonna reach literally right at the truck. Once it's that, pretty much just hook and let's go. Oh, they put it back down. Oh, is it? They got him out. No? Got him out. Yeah, right? Yeah. Originally, the problem was is that when they were hoisting him up, uh, his body or the, the cage uh, where they kept hoisting him up, the bed, they are hitting the bottom of the bridge. So they, uh, they have this truck, uh, the urban search and rescue truck, that has a, like a little boom in the back, uh, almost like a wrecker, and uh, it pulls him out. But obviously, it's very limited in length. Uh, I'm not sure what's the working low limit on those those straps, uh, those slings up there, but obviously it doesn't, uh, it doesn't match the one of a wire rope, but there he goes. Oh yeah, there it is. You can see the, the helicopter. While they do that, let me gauge it. It's actually not that bad. Let's see where it's at. The bridge down here, Jesus, is massive. But actually down there is actually not too bad.
and we'll move the rigs out and we'll leave the patrol and we'll leave the record where they stand we can move the trucks and we'll bring everybody through yep. and then we'll lower the record uh, you down on the belay if you can if that's where you want to go it's, whatever is easier that is the only way you're going to be safe when you go down there you fall over the edge <laughs> don't go too far that's outside there's like a drop so. yeah it's bad so okay. we can hook you up on that and then send you down that way the engine and then we'll stay here okay and then uh once you right, 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 back up work right, everything right, up and then well, as you can see you can hear the engine of the helicopter so i take off Well, showtime. Now, what the fire department's gonna do uh, is they're gonna move over their uh, their rigs so they can get let traffic through. Once that happens, uh, it's uh, go time for big big flipper and uh, extract the vehicle. So my game plan first is uh, to lower uh, to set up my boom and everything and lower the cable down since. Uh, most likely, or according to the battalion chief, is I'm going to be lowered, hoisted down so I can hook it up, then uh, hoist it back up, and I'll be able to control everything uh, since I'm the one that has to do the rigging. Once uh, that is accomplished, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, man the controls and uh, pull the car up. Go ahead. No, he's going for it. I was gonna get arrested. Hey, be careful when you go down there, right? Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Right. Well, you heard the man, so I'm going down there and uh, hooking up my truck. And uh, good, uh, the battalion chief just uh, wish me good luck. Very nice man. Uh, seen him on a couple calls before, so. Uh, it's always a familiar face, especially the CHP officers. We actually did a call yesterday where uh, a, a big rig went over the embankment, fully loaded, and um, uh, me and Josh brought it up and uh, kicked, kicked butt. So uh, we're definitely the go-to guys here in the area, especially for the hard, intricate jobs. So. It's always uh, to get uh, appreciation, you know, and uh, a pat on the back. Cool, Chente's here. What's up, Paisa? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, Eduardo. Hey, Josh. Just waiting on uh, them to clear traffic so I could uh, boom over. It's gonna be a, a pretty epic video, man. Hey, now, so they're gonna let you do it. They're gonna do it. Yeah, they're gonna let me do it. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not 300 feet, but it's it's close. So I'm gonna 
boom over the bridge and uh, grab it from the bottom. Um, I'm gonna be hoisted down through the with their uh, urban search and rescue crane. So I'm clear to set up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, probably. This probably we'll get you, pull you up first because we're gonna get these two trucks out of here and then they can have to turn around. Okay. Who? Cool. That's my cue. No, ahorita yo voy a hacer a, a posicionar mi troca allí. So like I was explaining to Chente in Spanish, um, I told him I was going to position my flip, big flipper on uh, on the bridge, set up my outriggers, set up everything. Uh, from there, I'll, uh, I'll drop my line to gauge the, the legs. Um, it doesn't look super, super far down. I know the cat's is 300 feet, but if anything, I'm gauging it more like 200, 250. So, I think we'll be more than fine just on my, on my drum. quick first if you looked over the side just make sure you're you like where you're at you see the license plate right there yeah I do okay and he's basically right up against the, the that pillar, pillar. Here, mm -hmm. the pier whatever it is so okay. whatever whatever you want if you want to go over the top of this block whatever works better for I'll you I'll be right here as right long there? as I'm square okay. with it yeah I'll back up a little bit okay yeah You have your own harness. My own harness. Harness for going over. I think I have one in the back. Yeah, I think okay. So if you got one that you're comfortable with, we'll let you use that. If not, I'm sure we, well, we got one for you. Okay. Okay. Whatever you're used to. Some of the guys that come out and they already got the, all their stuff and they're ready to go. So. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot easier this way. Yeah. 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 You think you're gonna make it easy, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think I have more than enough cable. That's how it starts. That's that's how this guy started. Yeah. Yeah, I started with a, a Chevy, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And the two brothers took over. So if you see Pepe's, it's they have a huge, uh, massive amount of lots, and I think they have what 74 trucks in the Inland Empire. And then we run most of the heavies. Yeah, because there's Pepe's over in IE. where I live. Yeah. yeah. You I live out? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's there. They have. You see him all down the highway. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they the run big, light duty. They always do work in uh, the big rig. Right? Oh, yeah. They have. I think they have, what, I think three or four of them. And then I, guess, I think we have, what, 12, 13 heavies? Yeah. Including, uh, we just ordered another rotator, another 50 ton. So, yeah, we, we do a lot of rec work. <laughs> Eighteen tons shackle, my yoke, plus my VA car straps for this one.
Do you guys have your high power light just so we can shine on it? Yeah, you got it. Please. Yeah, I can see the license plate. I'm ready to go down there. All right, cool. No. Um, so I'm gonna have to uh, cut loads this off once you guys are all done. For I think like safety purposes. Um, do you know how long I think like you'll be here? Uh, I think to this truck. Okay, cool. About an hour. Uh, Give or take an hour. Yeah. Hour and change. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys need a harpoon, man. A harpoon? Yeah, just <laughs> right. Just shoot it. <laughs> right through. Okay. We'll get you on this harness here. We're out here for another probably three hours. Go around your waist. Okay. Uh, that gas can is in the uh, back of the engine. Okay. Was that off the, the funnel? I think it was off the truck. Okay. Yeah. Right. This. This around your waist. This one goes around my waist. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we're back. Flip it around. Not like this? Yeah. Okay. I think you better buy like, I think it's like a Powerball ticket. Uh, I'm going to pretty much, you'll be out in front of me. You'll mm -hmm. be on the rope and okay. then you'll be hooked on. So I'm going to tie this onto our rope here. Mm -hmm. uh, just don't touch this once it's up there because it's going to be what adjusts you. Mm -hmm. And then don't touch this red carabiner. Okay. I what it was was all that it was... Yeah, there was, I think, a chain from there to... Alright. He's gonna go in that red one here. Cool. Back a little bit. Got room. A little closer. Alright. So just tighten cool. them up. Tension, you know, tighten this up. That it holds. There we go. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. Uh, you know, you want it back on 12? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure we get that check. It's protection. Okay. Got one light. Pick a little light. And then maybe bend it over the edge a little bit. Cable all the way down. Yes, it's all the way down to the to the casualty. Do you have a tagline with you if you need to come? Uh, well, you guys can work around the vehicle off of this one, huh? Yeah. If you need to get around somewhere that's unstable. Yeah, I can, I can okay. call for more slack, and he can yep. adjust that. Okay, great. Up and down. Cool. Both people are safety checked. Did you Lucent safety check and, them? Uh, yeah, don't check the harness. Okay, I, I checked them, Captain. Okay, okay. great. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to be tight like that? Oh. Yeah. All right, cool. And once you get on the system, just don't grab the brush because that'll make it slide. Okay. So just, if you got to grab something, just grab your uh, okay. grab grab harness there. Okay. There you go. And you don't even have to grab it all. You may want both hands able because right some places there we're gonna be scrambling down the rock. So okay, no worries. All right, ready? Yeah, ready. All right. 
Yeah, see? Girl. Here. Right. Right. Here. Right. here. Then in here. Because it, it, it looked like that. Yeah. Then I think the marker, there used to be one right here also. Okay. So that's the marker. Okay. Maybe we'll uh we'll kind of climb down around here. Okay. And then when coming back up, we'll go straight up. Okay. Yeah. There was one. That was probably right here. I think because I think when it crashed, I think the change just. Probably pulled it out. You want the other glove? You good? No, I'm good. Okay, over kind of on the left side, there's kind of a path. Yeah, I see it. I see where the footsteps are at. Yeah, there's a cap right there. Yeah. That's a cap. The chain's hanging right there. The chain's hanging and then. This way, then we'll work our way down right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. So if you go, it feels weird, but if you kind of go and lean, lean kind of back on that rope, Get some tension on it. You'll start to kind of get the hang of it and then just walk down. Should be pretty much straight down from here. The way that I'm doing it right here? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so that's, you got the whole harness around your waist. Kind of, I mean, sit into it almost. Okay. So, the purpose you want the weight, right? What's that? You yeah, want you the want weight. weight? Yep. You got a good. Uh, and this guy's the one that essentially is uh, just uh, letting the, the cable out slowly. Yeah. What's the working low limit on this? Uh, this this one right here. Uh, maximum strength is ten thousand five. On this orange one? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> What's the safety factor? Four to one, five to one? Uh, Fifteen to one. Fifteen to one? Yeah. Oh wow. We need some of those for our cars, man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And I'm assuming it's the same thing, right? If it catches on anything sharp, it'll snap it. Uh, this stuff's pretty pretty good. Pretty resilient. Yeah. Nice. We try to do like edge protection wherever we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing with ours. When we uh, do heavy lifts, it's everything's about edge protection. Yeah. Some of these straps are um, have a massive working load limit. Yeah. Oh, 
Got the bridge here. Gives me like a Blair Witch Project life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is the way that you guys came down? Yeah. Nice. Were you down here or? Uh, I haven't been down uh, yet on this one. No? Okay. What's this little rope for? Yeah, they must have had that for something earlier. Oh. Kind of this little canyon here, just kind of step on each side. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Should I put this rope pretty much in between my legs? Uh, just kind of out in front of you. Okay. On either side. Uh huh. You have that harness, so it'll keep you pretty good. Sorry, did I kick you? Oh, you're good. So we got helmets. Yeah. You ever done this before? No, it's my first time. Oh, nice. Normally, when we have to go get any kind of type of cars, <laughs> normally have to muscle everything. We don't have so tag lines. It's gonna be kind of a quick like sit back. Sit under that rope. It's gonna kind of walk you yeah. Okay. Outside, we're good. Just uh, keep that pace, and we're almost at the flat. If we uh, lower the bridge. Put your head. Some rocks. Good, yeah. <laughs> Do they have a winch up there or is um Yeah, it's all motorized. Nice. from bottom side, we're at the bottom. Give us a little bit of slack, and we're gonna uh, work our way over to the car. This way. No, yeah, we're just kind of pulsing the loop. Yeah, because we're just going to walk over to here. Cool. That's fine. Right there? On top side, that's good. You can pretty much, if you want to get some adjustment on this thing, uh -huh. you just kind of pinch it together. I'm just okay. gonna slide it. Okay. So I'll give you some slack. You can kind of get out ahead there. Okay. If you need help with anything? Let me know. Maybe a little bit more. No. A little more? Yeah. Yeah. So just kind of slide that back towards you. Cool. 
yeah, he did. Jesus, he lost the whole thing. Well, oh, good. At least there's one wheel there. Okay. That's this side. Just need a good, good point of, uh, Jesus, all the points that I would hook up to are broken. It's funny. That is nice. Of all the things I could break, the axle broke off. And that's supposed to be the sturdiest part too. Nah, I won't fall right there. It's against a tree. Just trying to get this chain in there. under there yeah because uh that's where the like a arms connect to mm -hmm. and it's bolted down to the frame so uh we'll be fine right there uh like i said ideally had this been all intact it would have had multiple points of uh yeah of uh, being secured so i would have been able to use it um What broke off on this one was actually, that's crazy, make, they make everything plastic now. Yeah, that broke off. So this will be sturdy. I really don't feel like connecting to that part. Mm -hmm. Because if this broke off, I mean, then it could have hit at a weird angle and sheared it off. So. Yeah, it looks like it's... You have slack? Top that up. Okay. So remember, yeah, before you pull it tight, I'll give you some length in this. Is this poison ivy or something? No, it's an oak tree. Oh. Yeah. It is? That's an oak tree. Yeah? Yeah, you're done. That's, that's like a sage. I was talking about this one. That one? I don't think that is. Uh, it looks like a little oak shrub. Right. Oak it is, right? I don't think it is. Oh, no? Oh. Got it on there? Yeah. Got it on there. Cool. All right. Should be fine right there, man. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You said everything's plastic. Or anything, uh... Everything's plastic, man. All right, we're good.
bottom, you got a good wrap on it. Outside, that's affirmative. Uh, we're just back at the uh, spot we're going to go up. Just getting the prussic back tightened up. We'll be ready to raise in just a second. Yappy. This is loosen up for you. Is the light from the top side helpful as you're coming up? Yes, lights are helpful. Yeah. So going back up, it's pretty much the same thing. It's actually a little easier. Just kind of walk, walk up. So. Uh -huh. We'll have them start going, let's just kind of pull tight. Top side from bottom side, ready to raise. Go right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Stand by. Yeah. What's uh, usually the issue? What's that? What's usually the issue on that? Yeah. You're there you go. Thanks. Perfect. Uh, so let that rope kind of get out in front of you a little. Yeah. Let it kind of just help you walk up to this part. Uh, lean back a little. Hold on the rope right in front of you if you need to. <laughs> Thanks. First time repelling ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're all good down there. I'm good. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Very good. Yeah. We'll start some putting some tension so I could. Yeah. Right. I couldn't even see the back okay. of the emblem. Did you wrap the axle or would you end up grabbing? Uh, the axle looks like it's broken from one side. Oh, okay. So I had to grab uh, from where the axle hooks up, where the the rear um, bushings go. It's bolted by three bolts. So it goes into the frame, to the unibody actually. for fiesta
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> the drone has remotes over there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the drone has remotes over there. Oh yeah, huh? I just noticed that. Well, good thing it's holding on. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it right now. Okay. Yeah. I was just wondering because I was like, I still gotta find the registration. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Not the registration, but the insurance at least. by the cable here, just barely, by one cable. Negative ripped off. Yeah, that guy's either lucky or unlucky. Very lucky. <laughs>
tu lámpara ¿Estás jalando todo? Espérate. Pásame esa J-Hook. Perfecto. Perfecto. Levántame un poquito de atrás, así, por favor, a ver si se puede. ¿De este lado?
I am, yeah. Um, do you want to flip down there or you want to flip up here? I kind of brought traffic up so that way I can kind of not be running back and forth. I'll do it over there, okay. okay. Yeah, so I'll just follow you. You can back up and bust the 180. Okay. So, it's at four. Hey, sir, you're gonna finish off the 180 on the down yeah. with him, right? We're gonna finish on that one at the gas station. Okay. Well, we're all uh, we're all done here. The the wait was so long that uh, this gentleman over here got uh, ran out of gas. <laughs> so uh, since we're going to the gas station, uh, we offered to pick up a private. Um, as we uh, hooked up that vehicle, so yeah, it was two for one up here, you know. Uh, Carpe diem, you know, sees the day. So uh, we're all set here from uh, from LA Forest uh, Highway and uh, recovered the vehicle and uh, in a safe manner. So uh, peace out, gentlemen.